Hello everyone, Kevin Gurgler here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. With that being said, today we're going to be taking a look at Kaspersky Security Cloud, the free edition. Um, as you can see here, the program is uh, fully up to date. There are no additional updates, and I just installed it recently. So we will go ahead and get started here with the uh, test here in just a short minute. All right, so we will go ahead and get started here, as I promised uh, already. We will go ahead and start running these malicious URLs that I have gathered already. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here and see what we can come up with. And the application is fully up to date and everything is enabled on it. I have not touched any of the settings, so we'll go ahead and run it as default. Um, as you can see, there is already a pop-up here from Kaspersky. Uh, access is denied, so this one was a block. Go ahead and go to the next one here. And let's just try to go ahead and see if we can visit this site anyway. So as you can see, there is a pop-up here from Kaspersky that this is a um, dangerous website. Same with this one. And as you can see that the object is infected with a Trojan. So that's also a block there. And just to confirm, we do have Microsoft security protection is disabled, so there is no protection from Windows 10 on this virtual machine, and we are basically uh, running off of Kaspersky cloud security only at this point in time. And as you can see, that's a block as well. We'll go ahead and go to the next one here. And you can see this is also a dangerous website, so it is a block as well. And that is a block as well for that one. And all of these that I have received are uh, zero dim malware as well, just to note that. Uh, this is the next website here, and actually this one might be dead. It's still loading that one there. You can see that their notification system is a little bit behind there, and it is slowly going up, catching us up with the notifications. So we'll go ahead and mark this as a dead link. Go ahead and move to the next one here. This one is actually downloading something. And it looks like it's a very slow download there. 25 kilobytes per second. We'll go ahead and let that go and go to the next one. This is going to be another download here. And it's going to take just as long. space. This one's running a little faster here. No, that's all off the same server. That's why it's going to take so long. This one's also off the same server. Let's see this one and see if we can't see anything in it. Uh, let's try to open it with notepad. Doesn't look like anything's happening there. Go ahead and scan this. So it is showing that there are no threats there on that one. So mark that as a miss just on the flip side so we can see if it is actually malicious or not. This one might be a dead link. And this last one is a block. So let's see what's going on with these other few here. Uh, we will see what our downloads look like. So this one has 37 seconds. We'll go ahead and pause real quick and let these download and I'll be back with you here in a second. All right, so this one did download. Let's go ahead and try running it and see what happens here. And it's not actually gonna run. So it might just be that it's actually not gonna be doing anything here because it actually was just downloaded as a file without an extension on the end there. Um, so I did change it to exe to see if we can get it to run. So these other two are going to do the same thing. So I'll just go ahead and cancel these for now. And we will go ahead and upload these two virus total to see what we get for the results. And we will start with this config file. 
so that one would be a false positive. And let's try this proof of space and see if we can't get anything out of it. Uh, let me go ahead and rename it back to what it was named so that we can upload it and get a um, legit upload and result. Nope. Virus total. And we will go ahead and upload another one here. Proof of space. So that one's also a false positive. Nothing has come up with that. Um, if you stick with me here for just another minute, I'm going to go ahead and get some programs we can run. So as it's difficult to find these zero-day links, so we will try to find some additional programs to run and see what the um, Kaspersky Security Cloud has to do uh, with those EXEs. So just give me one second. We will go ahead and get those downloaded. Okay, and we are back here, and I did find a few more samples that I downloaded off the uh, internet that are zero day. Um, these are some samples that I've pulled from numerous sources, so we'll go ahead and run. I did just turn, uh, let me see here, I just did turn Kaspersky back on and it is up and running. Uh, so we will go ahead and start running these and see what happens here. So that first one actually nothing happened there. So we'll go ahead and run the next one and see what happens. This is some kind of Microsoft Toolkit, as you can see. Uh, there's some kind of error here. So as you can see, uh, to, uh, active malware detected. We recommend you close and running, close all running programs and save your work before the computer restarts. So we're getting this continuous pop-up. Um, let's see here what's going on. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, disinfect and restart the computer, and we will save this text document here just to make sure it gets saved. Go ahead and disinfect and restart. Let this go ahead and run, and we will be back here in a second to see what happens. Okay, so Windows just booted back up, and uh, as you can see here, there is a Microsoft Windows troubleshooting wizard. Um, so basically, it searches for damage caused by malware activity. You can click Next, and it will scan your system and see what's going on. Um, select damage to fix, perform strongly recommended actions, auto run from hard drives is enabled, auto run from network drives is enabled. Auto run from removable drives is enabled, so we'll click next, and it's asking us again to reboot the computer, so we'll go ahead and do that. And whenever we come back, we will see then what actually was blocked or removed in the reporting uh, mechanism of Kaspersky. Uh, so whenever this comes back up, we'll get right back into that, and additionally, we'll run the remainder of those malwares that were uh, on the computer there. And we're actually coming up now, so I won't even bother to pause. Um, so we'll give it here just a second and we'll go ahead and let Kaspersky load back up. And as you can see, the application is loading back up here. So now we are back to the protection screen. Uh, are we able to get into, let's see here, reports. Um, so this was the sample, not process, malicious object detected. Uh, that's ransomware, so it was trying to go and run ransomware, so that was a block there. So that's good that it actually blocked us from that. We will see uh, what happens here within the reporting of the um, remainder of the documents that we have to run. So back to... Uh, we were in New York. Okay, here we go, New Year Generator. So we'll go back to this one. Run this as administrator. As you can see, that one does not run. We'll go to the next one here. That one also does not run. Test.exe does not run. And this last one does not run either. So I'm assuming these are all, yes, as you can see, they're all gone. So if we go ahead and look into uh, more tools here, back into reports, we should see that all of these items yeah, here it's popping up the alerts now. As I said, their, their notification system is a bit delayed. But as you can see, these are all the examples that we just ran through. I'm not sure what this internet shortcut is. Some kind of IP logger. Um, whatever it is trying to run. It didn't actually do anything, but it could have been a remnant of one of those applications that we ran through. So now what we're going to do at this point in time is go back to... Kaspersky and start a scan. We will run a full system scan 
and we will go ahead and let this run through and see what happens and then additionally we will run Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro to see what it comes up with and then we'll be able to calculate all the items that were detected and go from there and see what happens so stick with me here and we'll be right back okay so we are back in the Kaspersky Security Cloud free scan has finished the full scan and it shows one object was deleted uh, so now if we go in here these are all of the items uh, that were actually processed um, or this is actually our quarantine box so this is the latest one that was deleted and it was this uh, test.bin which was in our downloads folder so that one was automatically deleted so it did remove one item so we're going to go ahead and start the scan here with um, Malwarebytes and then we're going to go ahead and install Hitman Pro and run that scan as well so we can see what's going on and hopefully we have no detections and we will see you back here in just a minute to go over the results and the final scan um, results as well so just stick with me for a minute and we'll be right back okay and we are back with the final results from Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and as you can see Malwarebytes has found no items so this is a good detection rate for uh, security cloud from Kaspersky and as you can see as well Hitman Pro found nothing this combo fix is a uh, false positive as it is a malware tool that is used to um, clean up malware processes so that is also a false positive there are some tracking cookies which are no big deal uh, so we will go ahead and close this and our final results are as follows so as you can see here there were 10 valid URLs that we tested two of those were false positive uh, two of those the downloads were canceled because they were taking a long amount of time to download uh, so with that being said six um, of those URLs were blocked so it was pretty much six for six um, as those two were false positive and those two were canceled so we did have six valid URLs that we were tested with so this would be six out of six and that would provide a hundred percent block rate for uh, blocked URLs and in regards to the application results the total valid applications that were installed or ran on the computer were seven EXEs uh, total blocked applications were six the um, file shield did let through one item but did recover so after it did let it through it actually did the disinfection and restarted the computer scanned the um, operating system files and confirmed everything was working properly um, so with that being said that is a hundred percent block rate as well for um, this will be hundred percent block rate for the application results so overall we know that um, seeing how well Kaspersky cloud security performed it is a very good application especially on the free side now if you did want to go ahead and upgrade you can get a few more features with it um, such as the PC cleaner safe money if you hit on more tools here you can see that there are or correct me uh, this this settings button here uh, you would get the firewall you would get application control software updater and a banner um, and a spam application manager webcam protection private browsing and safe money so you would get all these additional features if you did want to upgrade I'm not really sure of the price um, let's see for personal use we can just go ahead and pull this up really quick just to see um, but in my personal opinion the free edition works just fine um, I don't see any need to upgrade unless you wanted to have a firewall with it as well so you can see here three devices for one year is $53.99 um, not sure if you can just change this to one device um, but anyways this was the free edition that we did test so it did perform really well and uh, with that being said I would give Kaspersky security cloud a hundred percent as there are no uh, missed items other than that one application was blocked but as I said it remediated and corrected itself so with that being said this was another video brought to you by Kevin Gergley from the tech formality blog that focuses on tech news tech guides and tech reviews and with that being said hope you all have a good one and we will see you guys on the next video thank you